Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do a block called Turnstile Block. So for that you're going to need, I chose green, I need two 7 inch squares, one 7 and a quarter inch square, and then one 7 and a quarter inch square in white. So we're going to take our two 7 and a quarter inch squares first, and we are going to lay them out together. My hands are cold. Let me think how I have to do this. So we're gonna do, um, hmm, we're gonna sew a quarter inch down each one. But what we're gonna do is, we are going to find my ruler right here. I found this one, so exciting. I ordered a new one and then I found it, but it's okay. Now I have an extra one. We're gonna just, well, actually that's not how I do it, is it? So I'm just gonna cut down there, but first I'm gonna pin half of it because then I only have to worry about pinning the other half once it's cut. And it won't move on me this way. So we're just going to cut it then. There we go. And we're just going to sew a quarter inch down on them. Let's see? So let's pin this one first and then I'll cut the rest of that apart. It's just a little bit there. Oh, really it's not. It was just a string. So we're going to go sew this quarter inch down. Obviously at the sewing machine. Take it on through so the points passed it already and it lines up with the... Oh, they pulled it over, but whatever. them off. Take our pins out and head back over so we can press them open. Sorry. Oh, I missed a pin. All right. My iron is not on. Whoops. It's not going to do anything because it's not on. So we're going to press them open to the green. It'll be fine. We're just going to finger press it because I didn't have that on. It will do just as well. Now, we're going to trim them down to the 7 inches that these are. Not ideal there that I didn't use the iron but it'll get the job done anyway so really we're going to line up our diagonal and it should be right about seven anyway which is actually huh it's a little smaller so I've done something wrong didn't do it wrong it's just a hair smaller but that's okay because we need it smaller anyway honest so now we're gonna take these we're not gonna trim them it'll be fine we're gonna take our other ones and we are going to lay it on top this 
this way. We'll do it that way. We got it even. It's not too bad. It'll still gonna work. We're gonna pin here and here. We're gonna cut it down the middle. This is gonna give us two different blocks. Two different style of blocks, I should say. And we're gonna do it with both of them. Ouch. Pins are pointy, guys. Pins are pointy. Now we're gonna do it with this one. See it? It's good enough. We're gonna pin here and here. Again, I've never made some of these blocks before, so it just takes me a minute sometimes to uh, get with it. We'll call it. Right down the middle. Pin it. Now we're going to sew them all up. And then trim them down. more to go. head back over. Now my sewing, my sewing, mm -hmm. my iron is hot so we can iron them open. Just cutting them open or apart rather, sorry. All right, so now we're just gonna iron them open And we will have two, we should have two that go this way and two that go the other way. So two with white on that side and then we'll have these two should have green on that side if we've done it right. Oh, I thought that was something else under there. So now we're going to trim them down to six and a half inches, hopefully. So we're going to take our diagonal line and line it up. We want it to be six and a half, so we're going to take the three and a quarter dot and put it there on our point where our green and our white meet. So diagonals lined up and your point is the only thing you're, you're doing on this first cut. 
And now you're going to line up the same two things, but also your six and a half inch point at the bottom here, down here, and your six and a half inch line should line right up then also, which they do. All right, one down. All right, again, three and a quarter dot and our six and or in our diagonal line so we don't have much to cut off on these which you know is not what I'm used to but I followed the measurements on or in the book Ooh, sorry my hand or my elbow hit the, the camera stand there now you're gonna line up three and a half inch or three and a quarter inch dot and your six and a half inch lines and the diagonal but honestly, once you line up two, the other one should line right up. straight lines and your dot lines up All right and one more diagonal and three and a quarter dot line right up and then your six and a half inch point at the bottom diagonal dot in our straight lines all right so let's get rid of these going to lay it out and to do that let's see All right, this one's going to go like this and then this and this and this so it's like a pinwheel it's called turnstile but it's you know kind of like a pinwheel and our green half piece there is um well, it shows a little bit differently, but this is pretty much the block. Let me see. It shows. That's what it shows. Yep. So now we're just going to sew these two together and these two together. And I will meet you at the sewing machine. All right. So actually, let me find my camera here. This seam in the corner will match up, so I'm going to pin it because it does nest, but that's the only time I'm going to pin, and then I'm just going to sew right down through it. On the bottom one, that will happen also, but the top seam will nest. So I'm not actually on a, yeah, I'm not actually going to pin it because I'm going to hold it as soon as it goes under there anyway. And I think it went crooked on me anyway, so, you know, whatever. So let's ender on there head back over cut it apart all right let's fix this first of all I see it and this one oh my 
No, I'm going to iron it to, well, it doesn't really matter. There's seams everywhere. That one's slightly off, but whatever. Okay, now if you look at it, you have the same two pieces. Just, well, yeah, same two. The whites are going that way. So now you're just going to flip it. That didn't match up. I don't really think I'm worried about it. But, you know, if you are, redo it. We're going to line up our seam in the middle, which is the only one we have to worry about. And then I'm going to pin at the end. And I'm going to pop one in the beginning just to keep it a little bit straight. Oh, we do have a seam there in the beginning. So we'll pop one in down here a little to keep it held tight. So let's go back over. done let's just iron it open and see what we've got all right so my middle it's okay lined up okay not really worried but it's still my block my spinny block Let me know what y'all think. It is called turn style. I like it. Let me know what you think. I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day.